welcome back to Adobe Live. My name is Melody and I'm here with Jennifer Alt. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hello, everyone in the chat. Thank you all for joining us. This week, we are doing UI UX design again, so I'm super excited. It's going to be an awesome week. We have a lot of great designers. Um, let's take a quick look at the schedule for the week so we can see who we have lined up. Um, so at 8.30, we are doing the XD Daily Creative Challenge, and Howard will be doing a video each day before the challenge to let you know about the challenge. And then at 9, we have Jennifer, hosted by me. Yay! And then at <laughs> 11, we'll have Jill Rosenberg, hosted by Danielle Morimoto. And then at 1, we'll have Ainsley Wagner, hosted by me again. So be sure to stick around for all those. Um, it'll be the same today, tomorrow, and Thursday. Um, so yeah, and then we are um, doing XD Daily Creative Challenge. This is the second week. So exciting. yeah, it's really exciting. And this um, round of daily challenges is actually a continuous like app. Okay. So you start with um, the des uh, design assets and um, yeah, you continue with like wireframes. So it's been really cool to see. So if you guys are participating in the daily creative challenge, be sure to submit um, what you have so far for today and we'll be reviewing them at the end of our stream. So today's challenge is to finish up the high fidelity uh, mockups for the music player app. Oh, so that's what they've been working on. Awesome. It's a music player app. Yeah, so it's really cool. If you're working on it, um, definitely submit it and get, you can get feedback from us. Or if Can't you, wait to see them. Yeah, yeah, we're really excited. Um, or if you don't want to submit it, but you really should, you submit can also yeah. <laughs> yeah, submit it on the XD Slack channel and you can get feedback from there as well. Um, so definitely do that. And then uh, we are also having a chat and win in about 30 minutes. Okay. So you'll have a chance to win this Moo hardcover notebook. Ooh, Yay. I like it. Yeah, so it's really I love nice. Notebooks. Me too. Yeah, she has a really cute notebook. I don't know if you can see it from Ooh. here, but yeah, it's really cute. Um, <laughs> yeah, you can have a chance to win. All you have to do is just be active in the chat. Um, so yeah, hi, Noel, Rashid. Hi, everybody. So me, Larry, hi. Thank you all for joining us. Um, if you have any questions about design, Definitely ask us and yeah. Jennifer. Can Let us know. Them. Let yeah. us know your experience level too, so I can yeah. go in depth on certain areas or not. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, let us know. So, so uh, Jennifer, awesome. why don't you introduce yourself and tell us a little yeah. bit about yourself and what you're going to be working on? Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Jennifer. Alt. I'm a UI UX designer. I'm Austin based, independent, and global. Um, I have my own company. It's Jennifer Alt Design. I do freelance entrepreneurship where I help startups and small businesses elevate their branding and digital solutions. So it could be anything nice. from mobile applications, mm -hmm. uh, marketing websites, web applications, um, or even branding. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, and the kind of evolution of my, my background as a designer, I started doing visual design in 2005, um, web designing in 2008, and then UI UX. 2016. Nice. Um, yeah, kind of just mm -hmm. grown as the mm -hmm. industries become more yeah. digital and just started doing UI UX because, you know, the, understanding the user and what mm -hmm. their needs were and understanding the business aspect, yeah. you kind of just start to t take that mindset. Exactly. And, yeah. yeah, it's really fun. I love doing it. Um, I'm also a new mama. <laughs> oh, yay. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm a taco <laughs> lover and aggressive typer. So <laughs> That's if it gets really loud, you're going to hear Okay, so talk about what we're going to do for the week. Yeah. Um, so day one, we're going to do UX research and wireframes. Day two, we're going to do agile, quickly design sprints and testing, and UI design. And day three, UX prototyping. So stick around for the whole three days yeah. to kind of see how we evolve the yeah, project. Yeah, so we can watch your whole process. So yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited <laughs> too. Um, let's see. Okay, so the app uh, we're going to design is called Thrill Seeker. It's an app that matches your adrenaline and experience level to adventures. Ooh, yeah. I'm really excited. I'm you're, super excited. Yeah, you were telling me a little bit about this before we went live, and it sounds really awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so say you want to go on a new adventure and you've never done it before, um, but you think that your adrenaline level is pretty high, mm -hmm. um, it would find someone who's willing to take you on that adventure. So it's making the connection of individuals. Mm -hmm. So whether it's snowboarding or skydiving or ice climbing. <laughs> Whoa. Um, yeah. I'm definitely not a thrill seeker. So I was asking Jennifer if there was an option for people who might not be like, might not want to do something that adventurous. And she said that there would yeah, be. Yeah, definitely. So that's cool. <laughs> yeah, but like skydiving, that sounds insane. Yeah, skydiving is really fun. <laughs> I think the, the thing about it is it's so it's fearful, mm -hmm. but once you do it, yeah. it's really, it's the most blissful experience of your life. Have you done it before? Um, I have done it. Oh my God. Yeah, one that's of my so birthdays, cool. my husband and I went 
That's and awesome. it was terrifying. <laughs> but afterwards, you get this high all day long. You're just oh so excited God. about life, and you accomplish it, and you're alive, that's and that's amazing. amazing. <laughs> I bet that's like the best feeling. Like you can do anything after you yeah. do that. That's awesome. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I actually have a little video um, I want to show you guys. Uh, Will Smith talks about, um, let's see, here we go. Facing your fears, mm -hmm. and this is kind of like what we want to think of for our user and why why we want to create this mm -hmm. app. This is kind of like the problem. Yeah. With, like, we're not living life to the fullest, and yeah. how can we live our life mm -hmm. to the fullest? So let's see. About here, so he talks about skydiving. Kind of just jump into. And in that moment, you realize you've never been in a freaking airplane <laughs> with the door open, <laughs> and you're standing, and your toes are on the edge, and you're looking out <gasps> down to death. Uh. And they say on three, and they say one, two, and he pushes you on <gasps> two because people grab on three, and you go. Hey! Oh my god! <laughs> and you fall out of the airplane. Yes. So That's so cool. <laughs> that is kind of like the idea behind yeah. this whole app. So, nice. um, you know, the most mm -hmm. blissful experience of your life. Mm -hmm. That's what this app's going to solve. Nice. That Yay. problem. <laughs> yeah. So let's see. Where do we start from here? User personas? Yeah. Um, okay. Let's see. So when I start off with a project, um, let me go to a black screen. I kind of think about, you know, what's the problem? Mm -hmm. So for this one, it's how can we live life to the fullest and how yeah. can we create these adventures, how can mm -hmm. we go on these adventures? Yeah. Um, so what you do first is kind of understand that type of user mm -hmm. and do some user personas, which yeah. is asking individuals, you know, how do you go about finding adventures? Mm -hmm. You know, what's the process look like? Yeah. Um, what does that entail? Mm -hmm. And then from that information, you kind of get um, some insights for implication. Mm -hmm. So let me see. So here are two different user personas I've created. So one is for a Naui Master Diver um, and one's for ice climbing. Um, yeah, so I kind of just spoke to this person, Ice Climbing Jeff, and then you kind of get their personality. He's like, I'm always down for a thrill. and enjoy sharing my love for ice climbing with others. So he likes the connection. He likes going on different things, mm -hmm. different adventures with people. Uh, you kind of look at the personality. Are they introverted, extroverted? Do they think or do they feel? Mm -hmm. Are they sensing or intuition? and you kind of come up with some traits based on conversation. Mm -hmm. And from this, you kind of get an idea of how to design the app based mm -hmm. on how they would want to use it. Mm -hmm. You know, if he's yeah. more extroverted, he wants to connect with individuals, yeah. you know? If he's more of a feeling person and intuition, you want to make sure the app is very streamlined mm -hmm. and obvious to use yeah. and not so complicated. Um, you know, like what are his goals? You know, for example, he wants to find new locations to climb. He wants to connect with other thrill seekers for exchange of a stay or dinner or good company, mm -hmm. not necessarily Ooh. monetary. Yeah, you know? I like that. <laughs> and let's see, frustration is just not having the right equipment, mm -hmm. uh, logistical hurdles like bad weather, limited access, um, limited local knowledge while traveling. Mm -hmm. um, that was something we kind of discovered mm -hmm. in our research. So mm -hmm. um, talking about how do you find these locations? And yeah. I asked if you know people wanted to share these spots. Mm -hmm. And he said, not really, because it's, <laughs> It's for friends and mm -hmm. specific people, yes, yeah. but not everybody. Not everyone. Because yeah. it's like when you go fishing and you have a secret spot, mm -hmm. you don't want to share everybody. Yeah, because then everyone will just like exactly. get there and then it, it'll, it won't be the same anymore. Exactly. Yeah. So, but you still want to find those spots. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. this app will help connect the individuals. Mm -hmm. And if they both have a bond or create a yeah. relationship, then they can take them to those places. Oh, and they'll have to awesome. publicly announce yeah. it. Yeah, I think that's a really good way to solve that problem is like you can connect them first and then they can both go and like, okay, I trust you. I think we'll get along. Maybe I can take you to this like secret yeah. spot that I know, and you don't have to post it on like Airbnb or I don't know, like exactly a public forum or something. Yeah. So it's funny you mentioned Airbnb. That mm -hmm. was kind of like one of our competitors that oh, I did research yeah. on. They have Airbnb experience, and I don't know if you guys have ever used that. But if you have, mm -hmm. uh, you know, message and let us know. Yeah, let us know. I've never used it, but I I'm interested in trying it if I go to like a different country and yeah. I don't know like what to do. <laughs> I think that would be a cool way to like meet some people yeah. and try new things. Definitely. I think there's, though, it's more like packages. Mm. You know, like you go on there and you're like, I want to go surfing. So here's like a surfing company, oh. um, you know, and you can buy that. Um, 
So for our other user, we have Naui Master Diver Ben. Um, he likes to do a bunch of adventures, but his pro main problem is when you go on tours like that, um, mm -hmm. like package experiences, you don't get that personalized attention. Because mm -hmm. there's so many people, yeah. it's not one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. um, you don't get that real thrill that yeah. you're looking for. And sometimes, you know, when you go through big companies, he says he feels like they're pushing product on him oh. and gear rather than trying to sell the experience. Yeah. Uh -oh. So when I ask, like, when was the time you've had the most thrill? It's when it's usually a one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. kind of yeah. adventure. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of you know these are things that we found out through the user research yeah. process. Um, so Kata was actually asking if you interviewed actual people. I this? I did. did I you did. For like a lot of people or like. Um, for this, I just did these two individuals, mm -hmm. um, this master diver and, which is actually my husband. Oh, cool. <laughs> and uh, ice climbing Jeff, who is a good friend of mine. He actually uh, is a glacier guide in New Zealand and Antarctica. Oh, yeah. wow. So they both do That's really awesome. intense thrills. Mm -hmm. So nice. I figured they're a good sample. Yeah. And do you guys test real people or do you kind of just, you know, I don't know, decide yeah. on what they may or may not think. I'm kind of curious. Yeah, Esmond's saying that they personally don't use personas anymore. They would rather interview actual users and build the problem around the intent. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, you can always learn. So like you can never guess what a person would say or like think about something. So I think it's really important to interview people. Yeah. Because you can find out things that you never knew. Yeah. So I really like doing that also. I do Even too. if it's like your friends, like it can still help yeah. you a lot. Yeah, and it's good to kind of reach out. It's like a more mm -hmm. interactive part of the process. Yeah. You know, you're not always on the computer yeah, or yeah. your screen. Mm -hmm. You're like talking to real people about mm -hmm. real problems, how can you really solve it? Yeah, so, exactly. yeah, definitely. Okay, let's see. Talking about experiences, if you want to make some income via Airbnb and don't own property, you can be an experience host, provided Dave's street, street photography. photography. Cool. Oh, yeah, I've seen like some photo shoot ones. <laughs> And I think that would be like kind of cool to try. It doesn't seem like it would be too expensive. Yeah. So you get like a day and they'll take you around like a city's like spot, like Instagram spots yeah. maybe. Yeah. <laughs> like they can take a picture. So that's a good idea. That would be cool. Yeah. Um, Alicia's asking how you typically find a person to interview. Um, I ask around. First I start with my network of people, mm -hmm. um, see if they would be someone to possibly use it. And then, you know, just go on social media and be like, hey, I'm doing a project for XYZ. Mm -hmm. Does anybody have any people I can talk to? Yeah, um, yeah. Nice. question for Jennifer. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, sorry. Uh, Raphael is asking, what were the main insights you found and did you find any patterns in the research? Um, the main patterns or the insight that I found was not sharing specific <coughs> location. Mm -hmm. So originally I was thinking we can have like a map um, and then there's like little tabs of where these adventures are, mm -hmm. but like, like the research discovery um, found out that you don't really want to share those locations. Mm -hmm. So yeah. maybe just a general area mm -hmm. and then you connect with the individual. Yeah. Um, and then also, what else? The social aspect. Sometimes people, these users said they're a little intimidated by blogs, you know, oh, like okay. diving blogs mm -hmm. or climbing blogs yeah. um, and not really knowing if the person they're connecting with is genuine. So this is like a nice easy way mm -hmm. to kind of match your match your adrenaline level and your mm -hmm. experience to an individual who's like-minded. Yeah. yeah. And then it's up to them to kind of like move forward with the yeah, connection. That's so that's true. Um, for like, when you mentioned that they weren't genuine, do you mean like blog posts that are like sponsored? Like, oh, this this place or like some hotel or whatever excursion paid me and I'm gonna like talk about it. Yeah. Is that like what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, like that. And mm -hmm. also maybe not giving a lot of in relevant information mm -hmm. or real okay. information about a location. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. Um, um, Roman's asking, um, did you go to school for UI UX design or did you transition into that career from web design? Um, so both. I actually went to the Academy of Art University here in San mm -hmm. Francisco. Nice. Um, I did classes online first based out of Austin, hoping to move here. Um, but a lot of my peers kept leaving San Francisco mm -hmm. to Austin. Um, so I decided just to kind of continue online. And so my degree was new media design. We did a lot of information cool. architecture, um, yeah. research, web development, coding. All nice. that. And then in my career, I also just started to do it because mm -hmm. um, you just you just yeah. need to do it. You mm -hmm. just need to understand yeah. your user to create a exactly. good product. Yeah. Nice. Thanks for asking. Yeah, thank you. Um, OK, let's see. Oh, so for also for next phase, after you create user personas, you do a thing called um, card sorting or empathy mapping. Oh, yeah, I've done some card sorting before. Yeah? Yeah, it's really fun. You like doing it? Yeah, I've done it in person, and there's an online tool. I forgot what it's called, but you can send someone 
Um, so you have like the items that you want them to sort ready on this software yeah. website. I forgot what it's called. If anyone knows, let me know. But and then the person that receives that link can go and like organize the items into their own categories oh, and like name them what they would want to name them, and then you can like use that's that. That's cool. To control. Yeah. So yeah. I think that's a really cool tool to use. So if you don't necessarily want to go out and interview people, that could also be helpful. Yeah. With, like, information architecture and how you want to organize Definitely. Things. I think it's good to ask someone on the outside because mm -hmm. you would have your own perception of where, mm -hmm. how it needs to be organized, yeah. but if you have an outsider do it, then that- it helps a lot. It does help a mm -hmm. lot. Yeah. So this was my experiment. I actually had my husband help me do it. Nice. So <laughs> based on my user personas, I kind of get sticky notes and I mm -hmm. write down different words that kind of pop out and see if there's patterns and Ooh. see if there's different uh, common, common ideas. Mm -hmm. And so like the very top is kind of like, what we want our, our user to feel. Mm -hmm. Thrill, adrenaline levels, personal experience, and bucket list. This is why they're gonna use our app. Um, the first column, streamline research, new adventures, scuba diving, surfing. These are kind of the things that they wanted to, to actually do uh, within the app. Um, the second one is social connect, experience level, local knowledge, credentials. Mm -hmm. That was Ooh. another thing. Mm -hmm. um, you're gonna do an adventure that <laughs> may hurt yourself, yeah. you know? Um, if you look up, actually, Thrill Seeker in the dictionary, let's see. Thrill Seeker is a noun. A person who enjoys taking part in extreme sports and other activities involving physical risk. Ooh, oh my yeah. god. <laughs> so you want to make sure you're going with somebody who knows what they're doing. Yeah. You know? That's a good point because I, I mean, I would be scared to do it anyway, but if someone's more experienced, that would make me feel more comfortable. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you want to go with someone who knows what they're doing. Yeah. So I had a friend who went uh, surfing in Hawaii and... Her adrenaline level is pretty high, mm -hmm. but she's never done it before. And they okay. took her on an extreme like ride and she said it was so scary oh and gosh. she wished she would have had an app that kind of mm -hmm. matched someone a little bit better because oh, yeah. <laughs> it gets scary. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see. So once we're done with this kind card sorting project, um, then I start doing sketches of wireframes to kind of see, mm -hmm. all right, based on this information, what's the best way to kind of design this yeah. visually? So I can kind of show you guys oh, my yeah. sketches. Hi, Merlin. Okay. So it's very rough, but that's okay because you need to just get your yeah. ideas out, right, and refine later. Okay. Let's see. So right here, I kind of just roughly sketch. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Paco. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Cool. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so I roughly sketched, you know, what I think mm -hmm. would help for each, for each of these apps. And I feel like yeah. the first stage right here is um, creating filters. You know, you can like search by general location if you're going somewhere new. You can search by type of thrill, whether it's, Ooh. you know, scuba, mm -hmm. uh, surfing, whatever. And then you can also set your experience level and adrenaline level. And then, you know, I was thinking like, <laughs> we can have a scale system for adrenaline level, like oh, very yeah, low. Like sliding bar Yeah, something. slider, yeah. like very small, don't hurt me. Yeah. <laughs> or like very extreme, you wanna stare death mm -hmm. in the face, you yeah. know, where are you on the yeah. scale? Um, and then, so like these numbers here kind of show the flow. You can, you know, mm -hmm. take this to the next days and like design it real nice on mm -hmm. the screen, but just for quick purposes. Yeah. Uh, so this would be screen one. So this person wants to uh, search for thrill. So the next screen would be all the thrills here. You can have like maybe a background image with little icons to show it. Um, I was thinking for scuba and skydiving, there's like an exclamation point or some kind of urgent thing because you actually need to be certified to do those thrills. Oh, yeah. So we only want to connect to you if you have that ex mm -hmm. experience. And then once they select what they want to do uh, on screen three, it'll show a feed of individuals with their little mm -hmm. profile image, you know, what their adrenaline level is, what their experience level is and credentials. And from there nice. they can, Go to their page, which would mm -hmm. be here, little profile page, and that's where you can read a little bit more about them, see their credentials, or just send them a message. Nice. Yeah. That's so the end goal would be connecting the message, mm -hmm. like connecting Connect individuals. Uh, for example, another another way to search would be just straight up experience level and adrenaline level, and then going to match. Like I've never used Tinder, but it's I heard that's yeah. like a quick way to quickly yeah. match people. Mm -hmm. So something kind of like that. Um, you know, or you can do location. You can mm -hmm. look at a map and see yeah, individuals fine. generally where they are. Oh, that's cool. I like how you offer different 
options. So if someone doesn't want to do like one way, like location or yeah. like drill, like they can do experience. Yeah. yeah. It's really cool. So we have three flows and mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screens that we'll design over the next nice. couple days. Yay. I'm yeah. excited to see them. Yeah. So cool. let's see. Let's see. Esben's hanging upside to read this upside down. Oh, it's like it's like backwards. Is it backwards? It needs to be like this? No. I think it's right. Okay. It's right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Ooh, Bojana's uh, from Serbia. Ooh, yeah, exciting. Yeah, let us know where you're watching from because I like every time yeah. I ask, everyone's like global. It's so awesome. Me too. I want to know where you guys yeah. are from. Okay. Well, I guess let's just start designing this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I have my little art board here for first screen. I'm gonna start with this first one, which was location, thrown experience. Okay, so a little box here. Here we'll have a logo. Actually, to kind of do this a little quicker, um, XD has library kits. Oh yeah, I so love using those. let's do mm -hmm. some of those. We have Portugal, Nepal, Chicago, Los Angeles. Two people from Los Angeles. Oh, wow. Munich. That's so cool. Very cool. OK, let's see. Ooh, Manchester. Oh, wow. Awesome. Hi, everybody. OK, so you can find these libraries within XD if you just uh -huh. click on the hamburger menu. And it's a great way to kind of start designing because, you know, most mobile apps are kind of the same navigation, mm -hmm. same spot. Yeah. You don't want to re-rent the wheel and if time's of essence, you know. True. And you can always like uh, customize them how you would like. So it's a good starting point and yeah, it saves a lot of time. Definitely. So for the home screen, we want to do kind of like a search section with our filters. Um, so let's see what I can find here. Uh, London, North Carolina, India, oh, wow. Indonesia. It's past midnight there. That's oh, crazy. Oh, wow. Thanks for joining. Yeah, thank you. night owls. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Brazil, Finland, Germany, Mumbai, Toronto, another Germany and in India. Wow. Cool. I actually used to live in Germany for a little oh, while. Oh, really? Yeah. In what part? Um, I lived in Rhein-Main, which is by Frankfurt. Oh. oh, okay. I've been to Frankfurt a few times. Okay. I have family that lives like 40 minutes away from Frankfurt and like the countryside. Oh, wow. So, yeah, I love Germany. It's so awesome. It's there. beautiful there. Yeah. And then I lived in, um, where else? I want to say Rammstein Ram for a while, which is right oh, by Stuttgart. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so I brought these in. And what's cool about XD is that these are already symbols. So mm -hmm. if you guys aren't familiar with symbols, you create an icon or a graphic or something you're going to use repetitively. Mm -hmm. And if you update it, here, it'll update throughout the artboard. So that's a nice way mm -hmm. to kind of streamline your yeah. workflow as well. So let's see, I'm gonna move this up. Oh, it's locked. How do I unlock it? Okay. So let's just change what we're gonna search for. So we talked about searching for location. We talked about searching for thrill. Experience. We have Kansas City, Belgium, Florida, Texas, Italy, Dubai, Turkey. Wow. Mexico, hey, everybody. San Jose. Hey, Dali. <laughs> Colombia. That's so crazy. Dali's I mean, my yeah. uh, venture buddy. Oh, really? She's an amazing photographer. Hi, oh, that's awesome. Dali Herms. Check her out, guys. Yes, check her out. <laughs> Adrenaline level. Um, for adrenaline level, do you guys like the idea of a scale? Should, I'm wondering how I should visually yeah. show that. How you guys would have... you guys want that experience to be when determining your experience or thrill level? Yeah, I don't know level, if it, I mean. you know, um, sliders are outdated mm -hmm. or, but some kind of way yeah. to, you know. I didn't really want to do stars. St or we could oh. also rate, you know, the yeah. individual. So I thought maybe save stars for that. But. Oh, yeah. Oh, hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see. And then here, ungroup these. Don't really want this. Maybe we could just maybe search for people. Yeah. 
you want to just, if you know somebody in mind mm -hmm. that uses the app, you want to find them. And this will just have Real Seeker. I love XD, you guys. Me too. When it came out, it was like in design and Illustrator had a baby. But, <laughs> yeah. you know, but the most simple, most important tools yeah. were available. I love that. Nice. <laughs> okay. And then we want a call to action button. Voodoo Val is saying maybe a five star system. For yeah. Doing the adrenaline level. Okay, cool. Thanks for the recommendations. So the app, be. let's do this. Oh, Siraj is saying fill a heartbeat icon. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so here's our little call to action button. Let's move these down below. We have a search up here. Okay, first screen, we're searching location, thrill, experience, or adrenaline level. Okay, so kind of just maybe do this for now. We can have a swivel, but maybe mm -hmm. like, uh, should it, yeah, should it be a heart on the swivel level? Oh yeah. Let us know what you think. <laughs> that might be kind of cool. Yeah. Or what if it's like, um, like a heartbeat instead of like a line and you can like, oh I don't know how that works, yeah. That'd be kind of cool. That's really cool. Let's yeah. do that. <laughs> Great ideas. So like, yeah, you know, like a heart monitor thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I guess like actually when it beats, mm -hmm. it gets bigger, right? Mm -hmm. And when you get more yeah. nervous, so maybe it gets bigger towards yeah. the end. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> cool. I like that idea. And we'll refine it as we go, but yeah. just kind of get, <laughs> get us going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can kind of move it around. And then say it would go like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Moving where you want it. Um, Kevin has a question. What are the first three to five steps that you need to make if you want to get into UX UI in 2019? Oh, the first steps. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I guess it depends on where you're starting. Mm -hmm. Kevin, like, do you have a design background, a digital background? Um, first steps, maybe mm -hmm. just understand it a little bit more. Like I took some yeah. classes at General Assembly too. I don't know if you guys okay. are familiar with that. Yeah. Um, they have quick little weekend classes mm -hmm. or you can do a lot longer workshop to kind of learn about the process of UI UX. Yeah, and there's also a lot of like online resources like um, Udemy yes. or Coursera has some. Yeah. If you want to do like some more in-depth learning, but yep. there's also a lot of good um, like articles on Medium for like how to get started in UI UX. Yeah, design. definitely. So I would recommend checking those out if you don't, or if you're not near a city that has like General Assembly or a place to go physically, you can definitely find a lot of information online. I think that's a good way to start. Another way to start is to do some XD daily creative challenges. Yeah, <laughs> also we have one today. Yeah, we have one today. There's one going on right now. Um, it's a good way to practice your UI skills and get feedback. So that really helps you in your growth as a UI UX designer. And you can also use that on your portfolio, um, on your Behance. So it's mm -hmm. a good thing to have. So Yeah, I love online research. I'm constantly mm -hmm. reading and keeping up to date. And that's Me what's too. kind of good and also bad about this like mm -hmm. creative field. Like there's new software out there. There's yeah. new tools. Mm -hmm. You got to learn how to design for the latest phones. And yeah, I know um, it's tough. <laughs> yeah, it's tough, but it's, mm -hmm. it's a challenge, which is, yeah. makes it really fun. Mm -hmm. So I'm working on a PC instead of my usual Mac. So I'm trying to like oh. reverse my commands. <laughs> so on the bottom scale, mm -hmm. we could have like, you know, don't hurt me on the end, you know, stare, <laughs> stare death, death in the, the face. face. <laughs> Something like that. And then we can have like a little scale system. So the purpose of wireframing is just to kind of really get your ideas on paper to see if they would work before you really spent a lot of time, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, working on your concept. Hmm, I'm not sure how this would work. So maybe I'd grab it. I need some kind of indicator that this yeah. is where you grab and move. Mm -hmm. um, maybe something like this. All right. so. We're gonna do this for one of our user personas. Mm -hmm. So say this is a master diver Ben. Yeah. 
His adrenaline might be here. Um, I think it's chat and win time. Yay! Yay! Yes. Cool. So uh, if you're in the chat, um, just be active. Ask us a question. Let us know where you're watching from, and you can have a chance to win this Moo hardcover notebook. Yay! Yeah, beautiful. Nice. So we will be right back. Yay, we're back! Welcome back! <laughs> so you guys have a chance to win the Smoo hardcover notebook and it has flat lay technology, which was really cool. So you can just like lay it flat and then- Ooh, I yeah. like that. That's so nice. It's really nice. And then, um, yeah, so it's really cool. And you can pick whatever color you want if you win, which is also oh, nice. Oh, awesome. Yeah. I love the case. It's I really know, yeah, nice. The case is nice too. I keep forgetting to bring it. Very nice. It comes with the case. Yay! Someone oh. asked if you need to learn um, HTML and JavaScript oh, and CSS that. to be a UI UX designer. Yeah. I don't know if you do. Mm -hmm. I know it because I also was taught that at the Academy of Art yeah. University. And I feel like it's good to know when you're designing. So that's mm -hmm. a good because you're working with a developer to hand mm -hmm. off the project. Yeah. So you kind of understand what they need to do yeah. to get their job done. It makes that relationship a lot easier uh -huh. if you understand code. Yeah. Um, but a lot of times I don't think it is a big necessary. Yeah. It's more about psychology, I guess, yeah. and understanding the individual. I agree. Yay, we have a winner, Juan Solaranzo. Yay! Congratulations, Congrats. yay! <laughs> Thank you to everyone in the chat who participated. If you did not win, you can still get 15% off your order at Moo if you just go to this link, moo.com slash Adobe Live, and you can get 15% off of your purchase. Exciting, congrats. Yeah. yeah, I think um, just being familiar with HTML and CSS and like JavaScript is helpful, but yeah. I don't think it's 100% necessary to like spend your time no. diving deep into that area. Because no. Because it's not really like. It's a whole nother monster. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's good to know, but sometimes <laughs> companies just want you to be really good at your one one task. Yeah, yeah. So, but you know, it's good to be diverse. Yeah. Exactly. Let's see. <laughs> I have a little problem. When I hold down the space key, the mouse cursor turns into the hand icon. Oh, but when you move the icons, it just doesn't work. Hmm. I'm not sure Let for that one. I just see. discovered the mouse, the space bar hand sliding on the PC yesterday, so I'm not sure how to uh, work around. Let me try and see if I can see what you're talking about. Okay, so we have a journal level. So we also need a some kind of system for experience level. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if that should be stars as well, or let's see, another scale system. For example, and I'm a pro. Okay, and I'm also thinking like when you click on location, a window will pop up, and that's mm -hmm. reshow the map, and you can set the filters, oh, and it'll scroll cool. down. So let's see. Find some icons for this window. For the search, I think I want it to drop down to kind of just indicate to mm -hmm. the user that it yeah. is a search or a drop down window to search. So let's take this. Command C, Command B. Just repeat good this actually. I love this repeat grid. Me too. It makes your life so much easier. <laughs> it does. Just design it once and then tweak mm -hmm. it. Yep. <laughs> okay. 
I think that's pretty good for the first yeah. page to start off. Mm -hmm. um, we'll kind of refine these icons on the bottom too, let's see. I think for the main navigation, we should probably have an icon for weather, because mm -hmm. no matter where oh. you are, what adventure you are or going on, whatever mm -hmm. thrill you're going on, you want to know exactly um, what, you know, what the weather is. Yeah. Yep. Um, let's see, congrats guys. Thanks for joining yeah. us, everybody. Yeah, thank you. If you like my stickers, thank you. <laughs> um, it's good to understand how we get executed. Mm -hmm. Yep, definitely. Yeah. Cool. I'm glad everyone's joining in the chat. Yeah, makes thank it fun. you all for being here. Yeah. Okay, so for weather app, I wonder if there's a weather icon already. Maybe not. Where's a good place to yeah. find icons, guys? Yeah, let what us you know where do? you guys get your icons. I think there was, there's something called Nucleo. It's like a software. Yeah. I think you might have to pay for it. I'm not oh, sure. okay. But, um, when I was here with Hiba, she was using that and it was like, you just search for whatever icon you want and then you can just like drag and drop into XD. Let's but, see, um, Nucleo? Nucleo, so it's like N-U-C-L-E-O. N-U-C-L-E-O. -E yeah. Let's check it out. Yes. Okay. I it's free. I don't know. Oh, wait, Voodoo Val is saying Nucleo and Adobe Stock. Oh, yeah, Adobe Stock. Yeah. Let's do that. Oh, it's free? Wait. <laughs> well, I, know it's free. I have a Adobe Doc Stock credit, so let's okay. check it out. Yay. This is a, we'll get into this tomorrow, but this is kind of <laughs> some images I pulled out for it. Uh, we want weather icon. Weather icon. Let's see. Oh, this one's good. Oh, Erin is saying there are two plugins that help you drop icons into XD. Oh, that's so cool. That's cool. Icono and Icon Drop. Oh, I didn't know that. Thank I didn't you. know either. <laughs> I've actually never really used plugins on XD. Oh, I've used them um, quite often since they became like there on XD and they're really cool. There are some like really helpful ones. Yeah. Um, like UI Faces is one of them that I like. So if you need a bunch of like pictures of people, but you don't want to go out and search Ooh, for them. We're going to need that later. Yeah. We'll do it then. Yay. So yeah, you can Tomorrow. just like select a shape and drop in people's faces okay. <laughs> into your shapes. Yeah. And then there's Content Generator, which That's is another one. cool one. So you, if you need like names for people and you don't want to think of what to oh, name yeah. them, you can use that. Okay. So, yeah. There's some really awesome plugins. If you guys have any favorite plugins, let us know what they are. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Adobe stock credits, baller. <laughs> yep, Robin, it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and the the quality of the imagery and the content is so good. Okay, so I downloaded a big bundle. So we're gonna use different icons. Nice. So cool. hopefully we have a little bit of everything in there. Oh, Aaron works on the plugin launching team. That's awesome. Cool. Yay. Hey, Aaron. Hey. <laughs> okay, it's downloading. Getting this done. If you guys have any more questions for me, let me know. Yes, let us know. Okay. And we're opening the icons in Illustrator now. While that takes a while, let's kind of go back to our little page. Carry on for a moment. Yes. Uh, let's see, we're also gonna have like a little search icon on the bottom. Yeah, maybe the search needs to be predominant on the bottom instead of at the top, because we're always gonna wanna search. So let's pull that out. No, it moved to the back. And then for now, let's just make it white so we can see. Tomorrow we'll do styles and specific UI styles and branding colors, making it look sexy. Mm -hmm. Pushal is asking if you have a sitemap for this project. Um, for this one, not really. I'm kind of just working off of my user flows, mm -hmm. um, but I do create sitemaps when I do um, other projects like mm -hmm. web applications, like a full the full project mm -hmm. uh, for websites. So that's really handy to kind of organize content, see where everything's going to go and how yeah. things going to flow. Mm -hmm. So, 
Um, Siraj is asking if you have UI in mind right now, or is it just pure wireframes when you're in this phase? Um, I do. So I've been thinking that, about that a little bit. So like for example, from the first page, one of the user flows got to search location. So I was mm -hmm. thinking for the UI for that could s swipe up mm -hmm. because it's just one of the filter aspects. So you could slide it down too. Mm -hmm. um, I have kind of an idea of where I want to take this visually. Um, I was thinking more of like a dark UI instead of a light, but let me know if you guys like that for an adventure app or, Ooh, yeah. you know, I want to have so. some really cool photos and I think that might yeah, pop on it. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Yeah. In your Roman asked, in your professional experience, have you seen Adobe XD becoming the industry standard in the UI UX world, or does Sketch still have a strong foothold? Um, I use XD more. I think when I started getting into this, um, Adobe came out, mm -hmm. and I just love all the products. So I just started using that Me right too. away. But I know a lot of people still use Sketch. Yeah, I think XD is like getting like up and coming and I think a lot more people are starting to use it, which is awesome. I started learning XD and then I learned Sketch and then I went back to XD. Oh, <laughs> um, interesting. Just because there, it was just faster for me to design with XD. So I just, I was like working, I actually did a hackathon and it was like a nine hour day. Oh, cool. And me and my teammates, we were working and I was designing and I was, we were all using Sketch and then I got really frustrated because I really wanted to do repeat grid and then I couldn't. I'm like, I can do this on XD. So I just moved everything to XD and then I finished. And then I was like, okay. That's I think awesome. I'm just gonna stick with XD and then it's been great. And yeah, so, and I love that they have new updates like every month. So they're always adding new features. And yeah, yeah so. Yeah, I do love that too. Yeah. I actually did kind of like a, a hackathon kind of thing. Oh, really? It was like a marketing blitz where we had a, cl a nonprofit oh. client to create their whole branding and website oh, and stuff. Nice. So I had a team with us and it was 24 hours straight. So you had to be in the office Are 24 hours serious? straight. Yes. What? I stayed the whole time. It was oh, intense. Oh my God. <laughs> but wow. we finished it. It was fun. That's amazing. It was really fun. <laughs> That's so cool. I really like doing hackathons. Yeah. And you don't have to be a coder. You can be a designer and do them still. So exactly. let us know if you've ever participated in a hackathon. I think they're really fun. And also I really like just watching what other people like come up with with them when they present. And you yeah. can learn so much from how other people like tackle a problem and Definitely. what they come up with. So I really, I just enjoy like going to them. and Yeah, yeah really I do fun. that too. Cause you said you're a freelancer. Yeah. I'm a freelancer as well. So mm -hmm. we're always working alone yeah. in our office, talking to our pets, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. nice to get in a group again and yeah, kind nice. of bounce ideas off other people. Yeah. Okay. So I, since I brought these over from, an, from a wireframe kit, they come in as symbols. So if you want to edit your symbol within XD, you just kind of double click on the right and it says make a local symbol. Mm -hmm. So whatever change you make here will reflect. That way you don't have to go back to the yeah, other screen yeah. back and forth. Yes, Pushal made a great point. XD is free. I forgot to mention that. So yes, it's free, which is awesome. It is amazing. Yes, it's free and uh, Voodoo Val just posted the link. So awesome. Yeah, if you don't have it yet, Download Very cool. It. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Come back to our little wireframes here. So we have about 46 minutes left to get your challenges submitted. So if you've been working on the XD Daily Creative Challenges and you want to get some live feedback from us, and we would love to see what we you guys want to see have. them, guys. Yeah. Uh, all you have to do is just submit them. Um, it'll be under the challenge tab on behance.net slash live, and you can get more information. And you'll just submit it there, and then we can review them at the end of our stream. So I'm really excited to see what you guys have been working on. Yeah, same here. Okay, we're gonna take this message for message one. Um, location icon, I know I'm gonna use that later. Let's see, back arrow, probably gonna use these. What else am I gonna use? Heart. I'm gonna use the heart icon, maybe star system. Maybe some social. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we're gonna connect people on social. That'd be cool. Um oh, I have them in white. That might be easier for me. I'll bring that in white too. <laughs> Simplify. Yay. <laughs> okay, let's bring these over. Okay, let's see. That's good. And then a little search. I got that one. Okay. 
Sometimes I feel like the challenge is just, where do I click on this screen mm -hmm. to make everything happen? Yeah. Okay, bring in all these symbols. Great. So we're gonna have hearts on the bottom so we can, you know, heart our individual that we like. Um, we'll have our own profile somewhere on the top. Would you also be able to like heart an experience or a thrill or like say that you want to do something but you're not ready yet or something? Can you like save it yeah. in a list or something? Yeah, like I think that? so. Like, like maybe find an uh, ideal person to take you yeah. on whatever adventure that is yeah. and save it for later mm -hmm. when you like finally get the nerve to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would be cool. Yeah, I think that's a good mm -hmm. idea. Whoops. Not that I want to brighten this icon individually. Let's make him local. Okay, now double click on it. There we go. Change the color to blue so I can see it for now. Why are you not changing for me? So I'm just trying to make this little guy blue. There we go. Success. Oh, the opacity is down. Okay. That might be why. There we go. <laughs> so you can have your little profile up here. Um, so of course there's gonna be, you know, maybe a login screen or profile set up, but I feel like a lot of those are kind of standard, so we won't really talk about that one too much. Um, so for messaging, let's make this a local symbol as well. And then we're gonna turn it white. So I can put it on the bottom, navigation. Stelios is asking, after you designed something on XD, how easy is it to make it actually work and be functional? Uh, well, you can prototype in XD, mm -hmm. which is nice. So yeah. we'll do that the second day, we'll do mm -hmm. a quick prototype. And then the last day we'll do that as well. Um, so it's a live link that you can actually view and see how the transactions work and the UI flows. Mm -hmm. um, but to bring it to life, you'll need to take that those files and assets and hand them over to your developer. Mm -hmm. And they do their magic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So thanks for asking. OK, search. Heart messaging. Now let's bring in our little weather icon. Hopefully it opened up an Illustrator already. Uh, B Creators asking what size icons would you recommend using on your app? Um, well, I guess it depends on how many you want to have on the bottom. So I'm going to have four. And you just basically want it big enough for your thumb to be able to touch them. Nothing yeah. too overwhelming, uh, mm -hmm. but too small. So. Yeah. And make sure like there's enough space. Yeah, a nice padding in between yeah. both. Because you're going to have a little hot spot of mm -hmm. when you click in this general yeah. area, that's going to make it work. OK, so let's find a little weather icon. Let's see, I just want some clouds, a little something. Ooh, we got a little fire. Ooh. Maybe we can use cool that with tease. adrenaline or yeah. something. <laughs> I think you could just copy and paste from Illustrator. Yeah. Do that. Oh, Aaron's saying that you can use the web export plugin to export a basic HTML, CSS kind of thing from your prototype. That's Ooh, really cool. That's what we need to try yeah. to do. That would be neat. OK, and then also, where's the weather? Let's see. We got some clouds over here. Yeah, we could do this one. Yeah. Well, this one. Let's merge them together. How about that? A little <laughs> rain, little clouds, mm -hmm. little sun, everything all in one. Okay. That shift click, grab all these. Command C. Bring next D. Paste. I'm ready to go. I guess I didn't take it. Okay. Hmm. Is it not coming in? No, it's oh. not coming in. I wonder if you can drag and drop it. I feel like you should be able to. Yeah, let's try this. Move this over. And then we're going to pull our XD next to our window. Sorry, guys, I'm working for a really small screen. 
And then we're gonna group this hole and drag it. So um, Siraj is wondering if you'll also be demonstrating how to export assets for development on your stream. Um, I can on the last day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we can do that. We can show that. Yeah. So come back on the last day. Yeah. I can see that. If I don't do it, remind me. Tag me in yeah. the post. <laughs> Hmm. I don't know why this little guy's not coming over. Can we add it to a library and yeah, then sync it over? Yeah, let's try that. Okay. Let's see if that'll work. So <laughs> add to library. So never really use the uh, Adobe's cloud mm -hmm. system, but libraries. Just gonna pull up on the right. Uh oh, so it says something went wrong. <laughs> uh oh, did it say something went wrong? Uh, something went wrong. <laughs> we don't like that. Oh, no. Hmm. I guess I can just save this as an image itself. So let's start like a new file. Do a little work around. I don't know why this is doing. Yeah, that's weird. Sorry, guys. It's yeah, live sorry. time. Yeah. This is live designing. Sometimes things just don't yeah. go. Okay. Let's do. Let's just do real small. 16 by 16. Create. And the fire comes <laughs> big. Shrink it down. We're gonna make this guy white. And we're gonna save as. You can export uh, SVG files into XD, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so flame. Scalable vector graphic, and we're gonna put in Adobe Live. This whole thing. And then we're also gonna take, okay, our clouds, this guy. Bring them in there, scale them down, and then make that white as well. Save it, weather. Hey. Yay. Oh, <laughs> it wait. worked. Oh, this was the old this one. This was the copy and paste. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know, there's some okay. weird, weird well, stuff going on guys. <laughs> It's working. That's funny. Okay, and this one. Let's do it. White. No, no gradient. We just want to fill. Hmm. It's taking a fill. There we go. Okay, so we have our weather here. We have our search. And then we have our heart. Let's make these all a little bit bigger. Okay. So I'm trying to make these all a little bit balanced so that the weather icon is like same weight as everybody else. Okay. Just roughly. Thought it worked for now. So we get our other screens going. Okay, so I wanna group this and create a symbol with it. So if I make changes later, when I go back and fine tune it and fix our, my alignment, then we could do it. Yeah, you won't have do to it change once. like every screen. Exactly. Menu. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So we'll call this the footer navigation, footer nav. Okay. Um, we'll group this one. We're gonna make this a symbol as well, and then we're gonna call it our call to action. Let's see our adrenaline level. Let's do that. So I feel like sometimes it's good to make your symbols early on, even on the first screen, and just set up your your flow a lot easier if you just do it from the beginning. That's a good tip. 
Yeah. I usually do them once I'm already in like the final phase, <laughs> but I think it could save a lot of time. If yeah. From the beginning. I mean, it feels slow starting off, but yeah, mm -hmm. it definitely helps. Yeah. And this could be another symbol. Experience. Okay. We got one screen. Woohoo! Yay. Okay, screen Thanks. number two. This person's gonna click on their type of adventure. So you can just copy this artboard over, pull some elements over. That's gonna stay remain the same, some that are gonna change. Um okay, now let's see our wireframes. I wanna get, I'm thinking, so maybe just for this app, six different thrills. Mm -hmm. uh, so nice little blocks, six blocks, kinda easy. Let's see if I can find something. Under wireframes. I want full screen too, like flesh, because mm -hmm. I'm thinking, probably want some really neat, sexy images in the back. Um, maybe like this. Yeah, this looks good. Okay, copy this. Bring it over artboard, paste it. So since I want six, let's kind of adjust the uh, repeat grid and kind of, you can actually move your image and see how it sizes everything. Mm -hmm. And then let's move our icons over. Move it over once and it moves it over everywhere. And then click here. Even a little smaller than that. See how you just like click on one space, it kind of just moves it all. That's yeah. nice. Just one little guy. Yeah, those are like the small things you can never click on. I know, it's <laughs> so annoying. I feel like I'm just a professional clicker. <laughs> So this is where we'd have each box, we'll have our type of thrill. So we can have, uh, we'll just put some real text in there. Scuba, what else do you need a certification for? Skydiving. We'll do ice climbing. How do you get a certification for skydiving? Do you have to like- I think you have to it? do some tandem of skydives, which you're, oh. you know, you strapped on mm -hmm. to the belly of another skydiver. Oh, okay. So you have to like do the whole thing once and then you can like do it by yourself. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think you have to do a couple times though. I don't know if okay. it's six or 12. Oh um, my God. And you take a little class before you do mm -hmm. it, just to kind of walk you through what's going to happen. Whoa. Yeah. And then after that, there's some kind of training and then you could go on your own. Have you ever been by yourself? I don't think I ever will. I mean, maybe. I definitely won't. I don't trust myself. When I did it, the guy was like, do you want to pull the chute? And I was like, no, you do it. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, he asked you that like while you while were- While we're flying. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> no, and I'd then like, he no. started, I was screaming because I was excited like a roller coaster. And he's like, yeah. okay. So he starts spinning this way and spinning this oh my way. God. And I thought I was gonna puke wow. when I got to the ground. <laughs> I would be so scared. <laughs> Do you like a lot of thrills? No, like when I was younger, I liked roller coasters a lot, but yeah. now I like never want to go on one again. No? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Aww. I'm not like an adventurous or like thrill seeker, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's okay. Yeah. There's like, you know, I just like those things that kind of make you on your edge. Mm -hmm. And I feel like once you do them, it just becomes mm -hmm. easier and easier next time. Yeah. So we got scuba, skydiving, snowboarding. What other two really thr good thrills should we have? Um, mountain bike, BMX, yeah. that's kind of scary. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, if I'm gonna jump out of a plane, I wanna do it with somebody who has done it more than six times, definitely. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I actually think they have this, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's a device where you can jump off and you're tethered to the plane. So once you, like a drawstring, once oh. you get to a certain point, it pulls the chute for you. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what it's called, but it sounds kind of scary to it me. Cause what if scary. you get tangled up, you yeah. know? I don't know about or that. Or what if like, I don't know, what if it just doesn't work or yeah. I'd be so scared. Okay, how about rafting? I never oh, did rafting, yeah. but I feel like that's pretty extreme. Scuba, skydiving, we got stuff underwater. Let's do surfing. Ooh. Surf. Oh, bungee jumping, rock climbing. Oh yeah, like bungee jumping. I've done racing. bungee jumping. <laughs> you have? 
I have done that in New Zealand. That's really oh fun. Oh my god, that's so cool. Which one's more scarier? Would you say skydiving or bungee jumping? Um, I think bungee, just because you're stuck to your leg. I'm always afraid of getting tangled up in the rope. Yeah. I don't know why, but if I'm just free, I just yeah. feel more comfortable with that. Like wake skating versus mm -hmm. wakeboarding. Like wake skating, you're oh. not attached to the board. So if the oh, board flies, you go this way. Oh wow. But if you're on a wakeboard and you get caught up, that's yeah. just scary. Was it scary? Like um, when once you like fall, I've never done bungee jumping, but like I always see like you like snap back up. Oh yeah. Is that, like, I was worried about that, like the jerk, but it's actually yeah. pretty slow. Okay, that's good. But then it gets like, you know, you're kind of like, okay, like, time again. to get down yeah. now. And you're just bouncing and waiting yeah. and waiting. Voodoo says, is there going to be a stay home and watch Netflix level of adrenaline in this app? Yeah, why like not? That level. So I was thinking, you know, when we, if we want to take this further, we can call it thrillseeker.live or dot live. Mm -hmm. And yeah. maybe like someone can actually film live what they're doing, like as they're doing it. That would it. be really cool. Yeah. Yeah, I think you should add that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Once we get our big sponsors like Monster and yeah. Red Bull on board. <laughs> okay. So this page, we can, you know, have a cool photo of our thrill and then maybe, maybe an icon because later on I want to associate each person with an icon. So say mm. they do scuba. And surfing, mm -hmm. but they don't do the other one. So instead of having photos for each one, they can have their own icon for each one. So we'll just do a little ellipse for now to show what those icons might be. So see, I just put it on one image. If you wanted to go on all of them, let's double click and press V. It has to be in that kind of box mm -hmm. and then I'll move it around. So something like, something like this. Yay. That looks good. All right, screen two. We're gonna call this one Thrill. Thrill options. I try to keep my, you know, our boards organized as we go. That's always good. Yes. I'm always really <laughs> bad at being organized, like naming my layers. Yeah. I always just kind of go with it, and then at the end, I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> There's just so many. Yeah. Sometimes it's like you can have hundreds and hundreds yeah, of screens. Yeah. It gets overwhelming. Okay, so this person's gonna click from here to here. Once they find their thrill, they're gonna get maybe uh, a window of individuals with that thrill. So let's copy this one over. And this will be thrill seekers. So before I was thinking maybe, you know, I can have thrill seekers and then thrill gurus, like people who've done it a million times. Yeah. But I kind of feel like in my user research, someone said, um, you, you have to be careful because some people might claim that they're experienced, but they Ooh, may not be, yeah. you know, and what's at, what's what qualifies them to be a guru or not exactly. a guru, you know? That's tough. It because, is tough. Yeah, if someone, like, trusts someone that says they're a guru and then they're actually not. Yeah, exactly. That would be really bad. Exactly. So yeah. I think it's you're marrying the, the levels, experience mm -hmm. level and general level. That'll yeah. kind of tell you where you pair with somebody else. Okay, so let's go to our other UIs and see we have frames uh, for profiles and stuff like that. There's gotta be one. Mm. Ooh, here's a little scale system. We can grab that later. Oh, yeah. John Doe. There, we can take this. All right, maybe I wanna find one that's already in blue. Move this over. Oh, uh, Mass Ruhr says you forgot to change the title bar on the the last screen and this screen. The title name to Thrill Secret. Oh, gotcha. Yes. Thank you. So to fix that, let's make this a symbol, yeah. and we'll just call it our um, our. This has to be symbol already. This one, because there's a link icon. Mm -hmm. So I copied it over. Do, 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 do. Good catch. Yeah, thank you for pointing that out. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, where is it? Right click it, make it a symbol. Maybe you can like highlight all of them. Highlight on canvas. Oh. No, that's experience. Oh, highlight all highlight, this? Yeah, like just that group of all the icon, the name and everything, like drag and... Oh, unlink symbol. Okay. Here we go. 
So this one itself, we're gonna make a symbol and we're gonna call this the logo. So if we click here, oh, I see, see, I didn't set it up right now. Yeah. It's all linked everywhere. Okay, we're doing you it can, now. Yeah, just copy and then make that whole thing a symbol and then you can just paste that. Okay. So we're gonna make it a symbol. We're gonna call this the header. So you can just drag your headers to each page now. See, we got a good little guy right there. Delete. There's about 25 minutes left for the challenge deadline. So if you've been working on the XD Daily Creative Challenge and you want some feedback live from Jennifer and I, definitely get those submitted. Um, you can find out more information on how to submit on the challenge tab on behance.net slash live. And we would love to see what you guys have been working on. Yes. So please. Let's design, design in. together. Yeah. So it's cool if you like copy and paste something from one screen to another, mm -hmm. it goes exactly where you need yeah. to be, which is great. It's really nice. Cool, I'm organized. Thank Yay. you. <laughs> oh, let's save this too. Oh yeah. That's always good. There's a new update where you can save it to the cloud, which is really nice. So it'll like automatically save for you if you forget to save, which- How do I do that? Um, so if you go back to save as, you can select cloud, cloud documents. documents. Yeah, and then it'll just save it in the cloud and mm. it'll like automatically save as you go. So, Perfect. Yeah, it's really yes, nice. Yes, that's easy. <laughs> yeah. And like the last day I wanna prototype this and show mm -hmm. you guys how it would look on the phone. I think you have to have it on the cloud to do that. I think so. so. Or actually, I think you can just link it Okay. Um, with the, with the like USB? USB cord, yeah. Okay. All right, so let's kind of make this profile page. Ungroup these, kind of. I wanna make these all blue for now. Anel says, my biggest thrill is when my iPhone battery runs out of juice and I can't get an Uber. <laughs> That's funny. It is scary. That is scary. That's scary. <laughs> I am notorious for letting my phone die. Really? Yeah, my husband always gets so mad at me. Aww. Like, well, I just, that's that's <laughs> the sign that I need to be disconnected right now. Okay, so we're gonna have our person, we're gonna have our name, maybe where they're from, thinking uh, maybe a stars for like, you know, they're gonna show their adrenaline level somehow. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have like a mini version of that. Like on a small scale. So maybe later I can, you know, classify which one this is by color, but for mm. the little profile, it's gonna be really tiny. Okay, got a little tips from <laughs> Adobe. So say the scale goes there. So let's make this a symbol. We're gonna call this one the small slider. Small experience. And then, I like the flame and the heartbeat. It's so cool. I wonder if the heartbeat yeah. will like show up small version. I know. Let's see. That's the thing. It's like when you design stuff, you wanna make sure it's consistent throughout this, the app. Mm -hmm. So you know exactly where you're looking at, what you're. So group this, make it real small. And then this is gonna be a new symbol. And we're gonna call this one small adrenaline. Okay. Okay, what else do we wanna know on the first shot? We wanna know the person, what they look like, where they're from, maybe the icons we talked about. Oh yeah. Um. So they'll have their icons here. Say this guy only does three of them or something like that. See, this might have to be even much smaller for yeah. it to read. I love that concept, so I don't know if it might work though. Maybe if we had just a scale in the flame. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think that would be cool too, like using the flame as the. Yeah, let's gender. see what that would look yeah. like. I mean, is that weird to have two two ideas in one? Maybe like if the flame was moving on this too. Okay. 
We'll see. Val is suggesting maybe you can do their top three adventures for the circles or maybe underneath. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. So actually, I'm gonna X that out. We're gonna double click on the symbol to make sure it shows up within the symbol. Maybe it's just like this. I think this might actually work a little bit better. And get rid of that. Let's just do a little line, a lot cleaner. Mm -hmm. Let's bring this to the front. Okay. Oh yeah, that looks really good. Yeah, thanks. I think that might work a little bit better. Mm, yeah. Okay. So did it copy? Yep. Yay. Yay. Okay. Hmm. So you click on their photo and that'll pop up their profile. Mm -hmm. And then let's see. And then that's where you would message them. So let's just kind of make this a little bit smaller actually for their icons like we talked about. And maybe their location needs to be a tad bit bigger. Actually, let's do that there. Let's move these down a little bit. Okay, this is generally the information you get on the individual person. So let's group it, repeat grid it. And this is what we have. So when you're done finding your thrill, you're gonna be matched with these individuals here. And then from there, you can go onto their pages and see what they want. Okay. And somehow my footer turned blue. Oh. Or turned gray. Here we go. All right, so we got three screens. Next, <laughs> making progress. Um, their actual profile page. So, Thrill Seeker profile. Hey, everybody who's just joining now. Yes. Your world looks, looks cool, thank you. <laughs> Nice wireframes. I wish my wireframes looked like that. Oh, thanks, guys. It's very rough. Tomorrow we're gonna get real fancy, but this is just we're just testing out ideas first. Yeah. You know, don't overthink this phase. Mm -hmm. That's that's why it's a wireframe. Um. Okay. So let's ungroup it. We only have just one John Doe. And then on this page we'll have more information. So maybe a bio. Um. I love seeking thrills. Hit me up for a new adventure. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm also, what? Scuba certified and would love to trade thrills. Ooh. So that was another thing I was, you know, I was talking to a friend like, you know, I was trying to figure out what was the, the value of person wanting to take somebody else. And mm -hmm. sometimes people just want to trade. Like you take me mm -hmm. snowboarding and I'll take you yeah. on a white rafting trip or something. That's really good. You can like exchange like secret places and like tips and like make a new friend. Yeah, also. So that's definitely. Because really cool. I feel like this network may not be that big, you mm -hmm. know? So you might find some really yeah. cool friends to exactly. kind of do stuff with. Okay. Let's see. So we have their profile, adrenaline level, what else? Credentials. So scuba certified logo could go here. Um, you know, maybe they have two certifications. Just a quick overview of this person. Certifications. What else do we want to know about this person? Um, maybe how, like how many years they've been doing it, or what got them into scuba diving. Yeah. I don't know. Should it be maybe in their profile, or to say if they have each one? Yeah. 
Should we? Do we want to know for how many years for each one, or maybe just know. profile? What do you guys think? Let what do you guys know. think? If you if you look at someone's profile and you want to go on like a thrill seeking adventure with them, yeah, what are some like top things that you would want to see? Yes, definitely. I think for me, I would want to know like how experienced they are, so mm -hmm. I don't know how we could like display that. Maybe. Oh yes. That. So that's Good this is that's what this shows. Mm -hmm. You're right. So actually, yeah. adrenaline level is probably going to be the same. Okay. I think no matter what, it's universal. Yeah. But maybe each individual um, sport or adventure would have mm -hmm. its own thrill. So yeah. instead of having it here, that's a good point. Yeah. Let's do this. We'll have an icon of like say they're scuba and they're like pretty advanced in that one. Um, but maybe different sport they're not. Mm -hmm. Um, Mass, we were saying maybe some videos or images from different adventures. Yeah, that'd maybe cool. we could connect to their feed, like an yeah. Instagram yeah, or something. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Or okay. like uh, Val is saying member since, so you can see how long they've been a member of the app. Oh, that'd that's cool. cool. Okay, let's do that here. Yeah. Or a favorite adventure, adventure tool must have. Ooh. Yeah, another thing was gear that I discovered mm -hmm. um, in the research phase. Um, not a lot of people have gear. Some mm -hmm. people do, some people don't. Oh. Um, so syncing with somebody that might have it, maybe there's like a, a button on that page saying need gear or have extra oh, gear. Yeah. yeah, so I think for each adventure, you're gonna have those sections. Mm -hmm. So let's build that out a little yeah. bit more. That's a good point. Okay. Okay, member since, where they're from. We got their um, their adrenaline level overall. This is where we're gonna have their experience level. Let's ungroup this because they might be different. So, oh, oh, it's moving everywhere. So if you ungroup it completely, you can break the symbol. Yeah. There we go. And okay, and the certifications, what else did we say? Um, Here they are, certifications. And then maybe we just need a big message button on the top. Yeah. We're like, this is enough. I get <laughs> what you're doing. Let's yeah. let's move on. Let's let's do it. Do the adventure. <laughs> okay, so something on the right, you know, uh -huh. sync. Um Oh, and we also t talked about social. Oh, yeah. So do we want maybe just like an Instagram link to go to their Instagram or do we want a yeah. feed? Because maybe, you know, their Instagram may not may have other stuff. That's maybe true. you don't want to see what they ate for dinner or yeah. <laughs> their last workout, yeah. you know? So maybe we can just connect to their social profile. Yeah. Okay. Maybe in like a more advanced version of this, they can have like, a feature of having their own feed and just like adventure themed oh, yeah. pictures and videos. Yeah. So like more curated, I guess, than like what they would post on Instagram. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be cool. Yeah, that's right. So maybe if they wanted to see photos from that particular adventure, maybe mm -hmm. we just have to integrate that now. Yeah. Hmm. So many neat ideas. I think we can do that. Let's do that. Uh, Voodoo Val saying they might like to upload pictures to a gallery of themselves skydiving or hanging off a cliff or something. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. If I skydived, I'd definitely want to show it off. Yeah. <laughs> like, I did this. <laughs> okay, so let's say maybe when they click on their profile here, there's mm -hmm. like an upload button. Yeah. Um, maybe a side window. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's see how we're gonna do this. So. Something like this can pop out. And see what Instagram does on their settings. Yeah. We don't want to reinvent the wheel too much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so they have a little slide. You can have your icons mm -hmm. and like windows there. So uh, let's see. Upload photos. Uh, edit profile. What else? Uh, so 
Most are saying some recent thrills that they've recently participated in, and Anel is saying Gro GoPro videos. Yeah. Cool. Or what if, um, if you're like looking in the same location that you're in, maybe that this person has done something with someone that you know, and you can like kind of see that, like, oh, they know this yeah. person. Yeah. And you can be like, oh, that makes me trust this person Definitely. more because I know someone that knows them. And then maybe you all can like yeah. group together. Like Facebook does that and yeah, LinkedIn, and does, LinkedIn that. does that. Yeah, so maybe some feature like that might be kind of cool to add. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So you'd have to be logged in. <laughs> yeah. So you'd have to be logged in True. to do that. Yeah. And then you'd have to have all your friends in there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So this app's just getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. Sinking friends. <laughs> I like all these ideas. There's about eight minutes left to get your daily challenges in. So please get them in so we can review them and give you feedback. And today is the daily XC Daily Creative Challenge, and it's to finish up the high fidelity um, wireframes of a music player app. So for throughout Fun. the challenge, people have been working on the music player app, like all the different steps. Awesome. Yeah, so we are excited to see how far you guys have come with the app and give you guys some awesome feedback. Yeah, looking forward yeah. to seeing that, guys. Okay. Who Siraj is saying maybe you can add badges like novice, junkie, wanderers, <laughs> etc. Yeah, I like that idea. Yeah. Or Nahid is saying add a rating. And yeah, definitely yeah. like a rating. I think that's cool. Mm -hmm. Is that like how people review them from experiences they've had? Yeah, like after okay. you connect, you can rate them. Yeah, yeah I like that. That'd be cool. Okay, so maybe like a. I think that's where the stars system would mm -hmm. kind of come in well. Yeah. So let's do that here. So we're just dumping all our ideas on the page uh -huh. and seeing what works. <laughs> yeah. We'll refine as we go. Uh -huh. Okay, rating system. Do we wanna see, yeah, testimonials, like all that on there? Ooh. Like that much information? Maybe we can say I can, like, John was <laughs> awesome. You know, from Sarah, <laughs> something like that. Yeah. And just like a little feed like this. Yeah. I think it'd be cool to show like one or two testimonials and then maybe they can, the user, if they want to read more, they can like yeah. tap into it. Tap for more. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Because we don't want so much information mm -hmm. on this page, right? Yeah. So we want to just see, scroll, quickly scroll, learn about them. What adventure or thrills are they proficient in? What's their mm -hmm. level? Maybe some photos too, and then learn yeah. more. That's a good idea. So here, we can do read more. Okay. And then maybe some images. Let's find some wireframes. Look up for a great image. Okay. You know, maybe how we do three across and a couple down. I'm gonna make this screen a little bit bigger. So if you click on the very top and just click and drag, you can make this our bird as long as you want. Okay. A little bit smaller. Move these guys as a team. <laughs> Cool, like a little social feed there. Cool, this is where the images will be. Yay. Awesome. Cool, thanks for the feedback, guys. Yeah. We got a lot of information on this page. Yeah. 
And you're right, I feel like this is probably the one of the most important pages because if the whole idea of the app is to connect to somebody, you mm -hmm. want to learn about them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, oh, I forgot yours. Suggestion of uh, like friends. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. Where would we have this? No, it's hard because there's a lot of content on this page and it's kind of hard to like think about how you want to organize everything yeah. and where to place like all the little details. So yeah, I don't know. It's, it's it is tough. tricky. <laughs> so you guys looking at this screen, what do you think is the most three important things that you want to learn about yeah. this individual before you book? Maybe that'll help us decide what's actually mm -hmm. feasible and what we should like focus on. Yeah, because right? so. you're right. We don't want it to be overpowering. Yeah. Uh, also, one thing you can um, bring up the menu bar up to this um, like dotted line, and then select it to be fixed. So that right way, um, just above the dotted line, so it like lines up with these. Oh yeah. So and then fix positioning the, when yeah. scroll. So then that the way when thing. you like preview Vertical it, scroll. yeah. So um, if you go to preview, you can see that it'll like stay Ooh. there. You can like scroll down. Cool, so, a little feature. Yeah. Actually, yeah, we should do that for the top too. The header. Oh yeah. So fixed positioning, just to kind of show you guys how that would work. Mm -hmm. So we'll add a background to yeah. the top <laughs> to do that. Okay. Um. Cool. Okay. Next. Oh, um, Masru said that I think the search bar is not needed in the profile page. Um, the user is able to have a back icon. So maybe add a way for someone to go back to like view more profiles. Just go back? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good, that's idea. A good idea. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We got this one here. Anella's saying maybe how often they do their activity and what their location is and what they do in their spare time. That's cool. Yeah. So we have um, you know, their location here. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe like when you message them, that's when you can find out those yeah. those little tidbits of information. Okay. All right, so we have our Thrill Seeker profile. This is uh, the profile settings window. Settings window. Okay. So, awesome. And then this would just go to their message windows. Mm -hmm. Should we, I guess we can design that one out. Um, Raphael has a question for you. How do you determine yeah. your font sizes when designing? Um, so usually I do that when I start my UI styles. I will set my H1, H2, H3, and body copy. Um, and then I kind of just, you know, create a style board, a new art board with just my styles, my colors. And you just have to kind of think about uh, mm -hmm. visual hierarchy, what's yeah. the most important information, how you want it to read down. Yeah. And I kind of go from there and balance it out. Um, also, a lot of it's kind of based on how much content's on the screen. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure your eyes are pulled in certain information, mm -hmm. certain areas of the screen and yeah. not overwhelming. Mm -hmm. So since this one has a lot, we have to get really crafty mm -hmm. on how, what information we want to pull yeah. out. Okay. Do new screen. I'm gonna copy this one. So this will be your chat window. Don't need the search here. Um, uh, Voodoo Val's asking what your favorite fonts are or your go-to fonts that you like to use. Um, I love Roboto lately. Me uh, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. It's very clean and it has a big, lots of weights. Yeah. Big library. Mm -hmm. uh, Montessarit. Oh, I love that one too. That's a good one. I, I don't, yeah, I don't know how to say that. Um, yeah, what are, what are your favorite ones? Yeah. Let us know some of your favorite fonts. I also like Avenir next. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a great a font. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Okay. So someone said, Mass Roar said, still missing the, the connect and follow button. Uh, that's kind of where our little hearts are on the bottom. So once you get to the page, you can heart them. And that'll kind of keep, keep them in your favorites. So here, let's, I'm gonna design the chat window. So once you click on chat, this is the communication between you, you and the thrill seeker. If 
Voodoo Val saying the font that looks like it says monster rats. <laughs> That's funny, like monster and oh. rats. <laughs> That's, <funny. laughs> That's cute. Hmm. Open Sans is a favorite one too. That's one of the ones I oh, use yeah. in my brand. And Bebas, Bebas New. I haven't used that one. It's a very bold font, love it. So it's actually time for the challenge deadline. Oh, exciting. So we're going to do our review. Let okay. Me make this a little brighter. So we're going to switch over to my screen. So we only have one submission, and that's okay because it's early. So yeah. they're still working on their designs, which is totally fine. Yeah. And if you're still working on it, but you want feedback, you can still submit it during the next streams. We have two more streams today, so you can submit it during the next streams and get feedback. On that. So this one is from Malavika Oak. Thank you for submitting. Thank you for submitting. Yay. So let's see what she has. So awesome. I like you, I think. Ooh, I like, I like the fonts up here. Yeah, I love it's the really fonts nice. that you chose. Yeah. It's very playful, but mm -hmm. very modern, kind of mm -hmm. at the same time. Yeah. And I love how the over it's overlaid the same type of messaging in the background. That's kind of a mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Um, can we just see this in color? I know it looks. Exciting. Ooh, oh wow, great job. Playing. Yeah. I love nice it. Nice menu. Nice menu on the bottom. I like the browse window too. Mm -hmm. You kind of have your top charts on the top. Yeah. And then latest mm -hmm. albums. See yeah. like your search history. Yeah, and I like you can like do both at the same time. Like I'm assuming you can like swipe through <laughs> these rows. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, oh dark great. Nice. I love dark yeah, UI. Me too. That's so awesome. Very cool. The graphic in the background is really fun. Yeah, yeah, I really like how you displayed this also. It's like a nice overview. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. Next up, Recently Played. I like the Recently Played too. Yeah. Because sometimes when I get my workflow, I'm just mm -hmm. listening to music constantly, mm -hmm. and I'm not really paying attention. Yeah. But then when I actually think about it, I'm like, oh, what was that song I played two minutes yeah. ago? <laughs> yeah, I like that feature as well. And then up next. Nice. Wow, I love it. Yeah, this looks really good. Very good. Great job. Ooh. And I like how the awesome. song is playing on the bottom too, so she allows mm -hmm. you to still browse while yeah. you're listening, which this is a neat feature. Yeah, that's cool. And I like how you have like the progress bar that shows like how far along you are in the song. Yeah. And then you can skip it as well. So that's really nice. Yeah. Um, I have one question. So this favorites in the back is a little darker than the rest. So this browse is like a oh, lighter yep. gray. So I'm wondering. Maybe just something maybe, that she overlooked. Or... Yeah. So it, um, it would help with like consistency of the background. So I think that's like probably the only thing that I would kind of change. Yeah, I think it's I think great. It's You're really doing a good, good job. Yeah, this is an awesome start for Great XC. work. Yeah, you've done a so lot. much. <laughs> Even a dark UI theme, that's a lot. Like I, Yeah. that's a lot to do. <laughs> it is a lot. Yeah. Yeah, and it says really favorite, and I like on the top how it says how many songs are in your favorites too. Yeah, you can have a good overview. I like that. Yeah, great job. Yeah, this is awesome. Thank you for submitting. Thank you for submitting. Yeah, Can't wait to see how it progresses. Yeah, yeah, definitely. If you add something else and you want more feedback, you can submit it um, during the next um, streams. And then yeah, so awesome. Exciting. Yay! Thank you. Thanks. And then, that's the only one we have, so you can move back over to Jennifer's screen. All right, my continue. turn. Pressure's yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just to kind of refresh, we're on um, our chat. Hey, I'd love to meet, you know, kind of just a little feed. This is what it looked like. So this is the end goal, connecting to the individuals. Okay. I could say something like, about tomorrow, just a little back and forth chat. Um, you can have a little box here when you send your message. Let's see what Adobe does. Or Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> Got Adobe on the mind. <laughs> I wore my lucky Adobe socks today, guys. Yay! Nice. My XD <laughs> socks. That's awesome. For good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and I have just like a little plus over here. Let's take this one. And then Oh, 
that's locked. Maybe I can find this on the grid. Reveal symbol and assets, there it is. Make a local symbol, now we can adjust the coloring. Okay, so this is like your little chat when you send your message to your individual. I think you have a typo in the where John Doe is sending the message. Oh, <laughs> hell, I'd like to meet. <laughs> hey, I'd like to meet. How about tomorrow? <laughs> and this is Sarah. It's John sound talking to himself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and say she's from Austin. Yay. <laughs> Hometown. Okay, and then just a quick little send button. Or maybe we don't need a plus sign, maybe we just type mm -hmm. and send, type and yeah. send, right? Mm -hmm. A little more streamlined. That works. See, sometimes you kind of just discover <laughs> things as you go. Yeah. So this is just their little message window, and this is where they make the connection Yay. for the adventure. Mm -hmm. nice. All right, so this is one whole flow that we designed, guys. Okay, exciting. So next flow, let's see. This will be someone starting from the search or the first page. So let's go back to that one here and say they want to just find something by a specific location. Mm -hmm. Uh, they click on that button, and then what page will they go to? So let's copy that one. Um, Daniel's asking um, if you can convert sketch files to XD, and do you have your favorite website with XD kits? And you can open sketch files in XD, and then it'll convert everything okay. that you have on sketch, like all the elements and everything, it'll just be converted into XD, and you can save it as an XD file and work on XD from your existing sketch files. So that's really cool that they did yeah, that. Yeah, that is really cool. Yeah. And then um, some XD kits. If you go um, on file, if you're on XD, there's get UI kits um, as one of the options. And there's wireframes, and you can click on more UI kits. And people um, have designed their own UI kits oh, that wow. you can download for free and like use them. So they're really nice, and uh, some of them are really good starting points. There's like a car sharing app one. Oh, um, awesome. There's like a ton of them, yeah. So definitely check those out, and you can use them. And actually, like a, f a few months ago, or maybe like almost a year ago, um, when I was watching Adobe Live videos, mm -hmm. there was daily challenges or that they would do on the live stream and they would give you the UI kits to you. So I would use those and that's like how oh, wow. I became really familiar with XD and like learning more about UI. So cool. I think those kits are a great way to get started and get familiar with everything. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, so this is our search page where we're searching via location. And maybe we have some filters already set, but maybe you just clicked on location anyways, and you can either type your location, so here, uh, and maybe it'll drop down with specific places. Mm -hmm. um, let's do this. So we have a new box. Where do we wanna go on adventure, guys? So let's say Germany, Japan, hmm. I don't know, Alaska. Obviously, this is just for instance, and obviously it should be <laughs> alphabetic order. And then we go here. So I'm thinking when you search, it'll drop down, and as you're typing it, it kind of do what a Google does, an mm -hmm. autofill, and then the map will kind of pull up nice. below. So let's make this um, ungroup it. And just for instance, like you're actually typing. Oh yeah. And it's like showing up all the other options. Yep. Cool. And we can expand on this later, you know, the full list of 
And then we can have like a map below. Uh -huh. Let's grab that UI from one of our kids. I think I saw one. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, let's grab this, bring them over. Okay. So you can find little profiles of generally where they mm -hmm. are, and then from there you click to the page again. Nice. Um, let's see. Can I make this bigger? Definitely. And then this one. How did this really build this UI? Okay. Let's do this. Make it really big. Okay. And then we're gonna have like um, plus and minus so you can zoom in and out. Ooh, so what I was thinking, um, my husband and I were playing around with this idea. Mm -hmm. When you're zooming into your map, when you get, instead of like zooming all the way to one little dot and mm -hmm. then you go to the profile, maybe once you get to a certain point, a certain radius, it automatically pops up the results oh, that's a good of idea. the individuals. And it could be, you know, a similar screen to like this one. Um, yeah. So you'll just automatically see little profiles real that's quick. That's a really good idea because I hate just like zooming in and zooming in and then like things move around and then I have to like scroll yes. and like find where I was. Yeah. So I think that's a really good yeah. idea to add. I think that'll be great for the yeah. user. So we'll have that feature. Um, so maybe beyond this point, it'll click mm -hmm. up. And then I can animate that tomorrow. Yay. Test it out. Okay, so this is actually location search. And this will be location search zoom. And we won't have this. We're gonna have this repeat. But maybe you already know you're doing Alaska. And then instead of you're having person, so Joe. Hm. All the different names. This is where we need that name plugin. Oh, yeah. Can you do can, name yeah, plugin? Yeah, we can use it. Um, if Let's you try go it. to the plugins, I don't know where it is on, on your screen. That looks different from mine. Um, wherever. Plugins? Get, yeah. And then discover plugins. Okay. And then it's called Content Generator. So you can type that in to the search. Content Generator. Cool. And then it's that one. But I think you might have to ungroup the repeat grid. OK. I don't think it'll work with repeat grid. But okay. I think you have to ungroup it and then select the text that you want to be filled. And OK. And it should work. All right, so it was installed. OK, so we can go back to your XD. OK, so ungroup the repeat grid. Yeah. And then do I have to grab each individual? Yeah. Like self-select each one? I think so. Oh, I need to ungroup this all the way. Ungroup, ungroup. Hmm. Maybe you can like um, drag something over all of it and then ungroup it? Or is it already ungrouped? There okay. we go. Okay, so now we can go each one. Yeah. Ooh, we're learning. Yay. And okay. And then go to the plugin. Plugin window again? Yes. Okay. Plugins. It should be, oh, so there's content generator, so you can click on that. Okay. And then you Ooh. can decide, um, like, if you want names or dates or city. Let's you do have a lot of names. Yeah. Ooh. Yay. So it just so fills cool. them in. Yeah, it's really cool. Okay, let's, can we do location? Yeah, let's do let's that. Let's try the location. All right. Content generator. Uh, country. Yeah. Yay! I love it. So cool. So cool. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah, and then you can go to the, so after you zoom in, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. find your location, you got to a certain point where mm -hmm. you want to see these each individual thrill seekers. Mm -hmm. And from there, oh, I really like Sarah. I want to go to her page. That'll click and take so you to perfect. here. 
Cool. And then, of course, that'll go to the message. Nice. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Very neat. Um, okay, so I guess the last screen I want to design, which is awesome, we're getting them all done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, you've done so much so far. Thank you. It's not easy talking and designing, guys. So yeah. thanks for hanging in. <laughs> Hi, Kat. Kat's watching. Hi. Hey. She was here a couple weeks ago as a guest. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Actually, I think I saw your, your videos. Did you do the? She did the space The space one. one. Yeah, yeah, that one is awesome. If Very cool. If you haven't cool. seen Kat's um, or Michael Captree, he's also here. If you haven't seen their live streams, definitely go and watch them. They are available on the Behance. Yeah. Behance slash replays. Yeah, you can learn a lot watching other people just yeah. work, and it's really neat to see what they can do. Yeah, it's really cool. And everyone has their own kind of style of approaching, mm -hmm. you know, projects. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of really nice. nice to see. Yeah. yeah. And you can learn a lot. I learned a lot from Kat when she was here, because I was right next to her, so I could just watch her design, and I'm like, oh my god. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the last page is, let's see, we're going to start from the home page. Oh, don't want to oh. lead it. <laughs> Control plus. There we go. This is someone who just wants to set their experience and adrenaline level. They may mm -hmm. not know where they want to go or what type of adrenaline they want to go on mm -hmm. or thrill. So yeah. they're just going to set their levels and see what kind of pops up. Nice. Like the, the Tinder kind of match idea mm -hmm. is what we thought about. <laughs> um, so let's just copy this one. And oh my God. So let's see, we'll have a back arrow at the top if you wanna go back from where you are. I think that needs to be kind of standard everywhere we go. So we'll kind of tweak that. And then, let's see. You can say thrill match. Kat is saying that you work really fast from all the demo to this. And oh my yeah, gosh, you do work really thank fast. you. <laughs> it's really impressive. Thank you, I think cause I'm kind of just dumping it, mm -hmm. <laughs> but. That's, that's okay. Okay, we want this font really bold and big. So this is like, you gotta match. And then... Anel is asking no swiping actions for profiles. So maybe like on Tinder or other dating apps, you like swipe through and then you like match. But oh I don't know yeah. How that would no, work. this is just more like setting your own <laughs> adrenaline level. Mm -hmm. So when we go to the first page, if we kind of go back here, um, you're gonna set your your experience level, a newbie pro, and then your adrenaline level. Don't hurt me or stare death mm -hmm. in the face. And then click Let's do this. Mm -hmm. So from there, it'll just kind of go match you. Yeah. Bing, you got to match. Let you know if you're match. Yes. Yeah. Exciting. Yeah. I want this to be real, so we can start. Yay. Going on thrills now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Nick is asking a good question. If yeah. you have to do this design for each, I guess, like different type of phone or if it'll automatically recreate. So you're doing it for the iPhone X slash XS. And then what if like maybe you wanted to design for another size or an Android? Yeah. I feel like you would have to just resize accordingly. I think you, you have to redo it. Yeah. I think what you probably could do is finish this out and get it exactly how you want it. Mm -hmm. Save this as your iPhone version. Yeah. And then you can go in and just change your artboard to size. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then uh, you, you can, can also- do a responsive resize. I think that would help. Yeah. It might not make it like perfect, but it'll be a really good um, starting point. Definitely. Yeah. So the responsive resize is right here, guys. Yeah. You can turn that on when you adjust the screen. It kind of moves your content yeah. where you want it. Um, yeah, I think that's how you probably yeah. have to and do I it. And I think symbols don't work for resize, I believe. Let me know if I'm wrong. Oh, uh, so let's see. So I think see. you might have to make them not be symbols. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let's test it. Oh. Yeah, maybe oh, it just goes yeah. positioning wise. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that yeah. could be a little tricky. Mm -hmm. But then again, maybe you just design the smallest screen mm -hmm. and then make sure that looks good and then just kind of yeah. go backwards. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have our experience level, we have adrenaline, and then maybe this is just chat, send message. Yeah? Awesome. Hey. Nice. And then we have all eight screens, or did I do the one? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we nine. did the little pop up window. Can't believe you did awesome. all that. Awesome. That's amazing. Good job. Thank you. Yay. All right. So now I guess I can just go in there and kind of walk through it a little bit yeah, more and clean so up we little areas. We have a, like about five minutes left. So maybe we can. You can go over like your screens and just yeah. give an overview and what you plan on doing tomorrow for tomorrow's stream. Yeah, definitely. Let's recap. So uh, for the home screen, let's kind of go here. So we have our main home screen where you're going to kind of filter out what you want to look for, your location, your thrill, your experience, set your uh, adrenaline level or your um, experience level. Uh, second screen is you can actually search for specific thrills. We'll have great hero images here and then little icons. Um, let's see. Third screen, we have our actual thrill seekers. So once you find what thrill you want to go on, you're going to see the individuals who do that thrill and a little preview of information about them. Uh, this is their actual profile page. Once you click on it, some information about them. Again, I think I'll probably spend some time streamlining mm -hmm. what we want. I guess, can we see the past chats like later? Because um, I know we asked the question of what top three so. we can have. Yeah. I should go back and see. Yeah. I think, yeah, yeah, we can. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, I'll go back and see your guys' feedback. Uh, this was a little pop out window for settings. I'll fine tune that a little bit later. Um, and then the chat window. So just you're connected with the individual, you have your chat back and forth. And then um, I might expand or change it out to where you can see all your chats too, because you're probably okay. chatting with different people. Yeah, so be good. I'll have um, maybe, it, let's do that real quick. Um, but to kind of talk while I'm designing. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow I'm going to quickly do a little agile prototype and kind of link through these screens just to make sure what we talked about is actually going to work. Mm -hmm. And then do a little mood boarding and set oh, up nice. some UI styles and start making Ooh, this look real pretty with yeah. colors and fonts. And nice. yeah. I'm really excited for that. That's yeah. like my favorite part is getting to that stage. Me and, too. Yeah. That's the fun part. Mm -hmm, yeah. um, I also like, this part's fun too because mm -hmm. the whole strategy behind yeah, it and yeah. thinking and mm -hmm. the problem solving, yeah, that's really fun. Exactly. But yeah, we want to we want to see these great designs mm -hmm. come to life. Yeah. Okay, and then day three, we are going to uh, refine all the prototypes and the little micro interactions, and actually test it out on the mobile device. Yeah. So stick through stick through all yeah. three days, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. Actually, we're just gonna do this. Yay. And we're nice done. And easy. <laughs> yeah. Yay. So let's see what Instagram does. I think there's a little button on the right. We mm -hmm. can just like go to your chat. Yeah, you just click on yeah. your person. Okay. So while we have some time, yeah. can we like figure out that plugin with the person? Oh yeah, the UI faces. Yeah. Yeah. So do we, we have can time do for that? that. Yeah. So okay. you'll have to download it really fast. Um, yeah. So just go to plugins, but they they download really fast, so it's, it's discover. Good. So, yeah, discover plugins, and then it's just called UI faces. UI faces. And then it's install. One. Done. And then um, ungroup so you're gonna, it. Yeah, ungroup it, and then just select and then the. Um, I think he. Let's see if it'll work with repeat grid, but. I ungrouped it quickly. It should. Okay. And then um, you can select. Does Kenna um, do photos or is it just emojis? <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny if it would. Let's um, just do emojis. Yeah. Oh, you can be like, we want to be happy. I think it's their, yeah, if they're happy. And then. Uh, let's do black hair like me. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, okay. It's not working. Symbol okay. instance not supported. Oh, because okay. this is symbol. Okay. So Unlink okay. symbols. Okay, let's, let's try, try it one more time. Okay, discover, oops, we already did that one. Group them, you go to plugins, UI faces. Oh, what? <laughs> Ungroup? Oh, because the icon is in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I need to do each icon then, huh? I think. Not each um, circle. I think you'd have to select the circle, um, otherwise the, picture, I think it would like fit into the icon. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> let's try that. One more time. <laughs> One more time. Yay. Yay. It's working. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. awesome. Nice. Very cool. Yay. So exciting guys. Yeah, I'm excited. 
I'm just thank gonna... you to everyone in the chat for being here and asking awesome Thanks questions. for joining and all the feedback. Yeah, thank you. Um, thank you to Jennifer for being here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it was so awesome. excited. Yay. It's and fun. then we'll have Jill and Danielle up next. So be sure to stick around for that. Good and luck. then we'll be back here tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Fantastic. Yay. See you Bye. then. Bye. See ya. Bye.